Hello students. In this video, we're setting off on an exciting exploration into the world of how substances change. We'll look at how different factors can transform materials all around us. Let's first talk about what happens when we heat a substance. Imagine a block of ice. When you heat it, the ice melts and turns into water. If you keep applying heat, that water will eventually turn into steam, which is a gas. So, heating can change a substance from a solid to a liquid, and then to a gas. Now, think about what happens when we apply force to something. If you squeeze a sponge, for example, it changes shape, it squishes down. This is a physical change because the sponge can go back to its original shape once you stop squeezing it. Physical changes like this don't alter the substance itself, just its form. Mixing substances together can also lead to interesting changes. When you mix vinegar with baking soda, you'll see a fizzing reaction that produces carbon dioxide gas. This is a chemical change because a new substance is formed from the reaction. Chemical changes are different from physical ones because they result in new materials that weren't there before. Substances can also change due to environmental factors. Think about what happens to iron when it's exposed to moisture and air, it starts to rust and turns brown. This is another example of a chemical change, as the iron reacts with water and oxygen to form rust, a completely new substance. Now, let's explore the different types of changes substances can undergo. Some changes are reversible, for instance, when ice melts into water, it can be frozen back into ice. These changes can go back and forth. But other changes are irreversible. For example, when wood burns and turns into ash, you can't turn the ash back into wood. These changes are permanent. In addition to reversible and irreversible changes, we also have physical and chemical changes. Physical changes, like cutting paper, alter the appearance of a substance without changing its identity. Chemical changes, like rusting iron, create entirely new substances with different properties. Some changes happen on a regular basis and are called periodic changes. Others occur only once in a while, and these are called non-periodic changes. Understanding these helps us predict when certain changes might happen. When it comes to temperature, some changes release heat, these are called exothermic changes. An example is when wood burns, releasing warmth. On the other hand, some changes absorb heat, these are called endothermic changes, like when ice melts and absorbs heat to turn into water. Did you know that substances can change in size when they're heated or cooled? For instance, most materials expand when heated and contract when cooled. A thermometer is a great example, inside, mercury rises as it gets warmer and falls when it cools down. When heated, substances can undergo different state changes. Melting involves a solid, such as ice, transitioning into a liquid. Evaporation occurs when a liquid, like water, turns into a gas. The reverse process, condensation, takes place when a gas, such as steam, cools down and transforms into a liquid. Interestingly, sublimation allows a solid, like dry ice, to bypass the liquid phase and directly convert it into a gas. Water has a special property called anomalous expansion. Unlike most substances, water expands when it's cooled below 4 degrees Celsius. This is why ice floats on water, and it's essential for protecting aquatic life during winter. That wraps up our adventure into the world of changes in substances. Whether it's heating, mixing, or environmental factors, we've seen how materials can transform in incredible ways. Here's a fun question for you. What happens to water when it freezes? Share your answer in the comments. The complete curriculum for Class 6 is available on our channel. Check out all the links provided in the description below. Please make sure to like, share, and comment for more such videos.